Well, new here at 9 calls for safety students at the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs demanding change after that double homicide on campus last month. Now Fox 31's Talia Cunningham is in studio joining us with their efforts. Talia. Well, Erica, after last month's tragedy that prompted a lockdown on campus, hundreds of students say they simply don't feel safe at the university. Some students even say they never received a text alert and had no idea what was happening on February 16th. It was that morning when police were called to a dorm room discovering two people suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. Both were pronounced dead on the scene and three days later after that shooting, Nicholas Jordan, who's pictured right there in court, was arrested for murder in the deaths of Samuel Knopp and Celie Montgomery. So we've since learned that Jordan and Knopp were roommates and Knopp had reported threatening behavior from Jordan in the past leading up to the shooting. As a direct result of the violence, a freshman created this online petition calling for an increase in security on campus. So it claims that anyone is allowed to enter classrooms without an ID. There are no cameras outside of student living areas. Doors are often broken and left open, among other things. Listen. We need change. We want change. We don't feel safe. The students aren't acting like we were before, um, especially in the mornings. Students don't walk to class anymore. The shuttles are a lot more packed than they were, and I think that shows directly that we don't feel safe here. Um, we're scared, and it's time that the school actually does something about it. So tonight, that petition has more than 600 signatures so far, and the university said that they are in the process of increasing the coverage of their security cameras, stating in part, quote, safety has been and will continue to be something we think about and work to improve every day. This is a statement, again, from the university. In studio, Talia Cunningham, Fox 31. All right.